Introduction to HMO houses in multiple occupancies. HMOs can be profitable, however, they present many challenges. They are best used as a bolt-on to your existing portfolio. Because of the high cost involved, they work best if there is a low mortgage on the HMO or you have been able to buy the property outright at the start with cash. Then you may get a decent profitable return that will make it worthwhile. Cons of running an HMO HMOs can require considerable time and effort to operate and manage. Remember, you can get calls from tenants 24-7. There may be problems with the heating, the plumbing, repairs, rent payment and even arguments and disputes with other tenants, very often over trivial matters. Finding a suitable HMO property. First step, do your homework. Check websites like Spare Room to gauge the demand. Before you start the process, visit the area and check it out, this is a must-do. Try to rent a room yourself in the area to get a feel for the area. Check how long rooms are being advertised without being let. If it is in another part of the country, do you trust the estate agent to give you an honest opinion? If you use them to rent and manage, they will have a vested interest in the property. Will there be sufficient demand for rooms in the area? How can you avoid having vacant periods? If the property seems cheap and a bargain to buy, it could be because of the lack of economic activity in the area. Therefore, there may be reduced demand or difficulty finding the right tenant. Where prices are below the national average, more landlords may invest in that area because of the low prices. And so, there may be a glut of HMOs and an oversupply of rooms. Few landlords may invest in those areas where house prices are above the national average. Therefore, the demand for HMO rooms may be higher due to a lack of supply. HMO Profitability Quick Check The following factors may apply if the property has four rentable rooms with four residents. The rent from two rooms rent will be required to cover the mortgage. The rent from the third room may cover the costs of running the property, remember you have to pay all the bills. The rent from the fourth room rent will be your profit. Therefore, if one room is vacant and you are renting only three rooms, you may only break even. If two rooms are vacant and you are renting only two rooms, you may make a loss. Remember, none of the rooms can have double occupants. You will require a license in most areas to, to operate a HMO. Note that six rooms or more may require a full planning application. Many councils have now started to charge council tax for each room at the band A price point. The more rooms you have the more financially viable it will be, because you have economies of scale to handle all financial and regulatory requirements. That gives you a better chance of getting a return on your income. However, the more tenants, the more problems you have. Using an estate agent to manage the property. Remember, a management company or estate agent will have many properties to manage. Therefore, someone other than you may be a priority for them. So, you may have longer periods of voids. Estate agents will also not bear down on the costs of repairs as you yourself would. So, you may also have higher repair charges.